bevo.com. You say that a lot of companies are often guilty of 1P marketing. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, what do you mean by that and how can it be avoided? Yeah, you know, it turns out that um, there are four types of CEOs uh, when they are asked, what do you think of marketing and how are you using it? And remember, most CEOs are not marketer trained people. They are either engineers, lawyers, accountants, or finance people. Uh, none of um, them have gone to a marketing course. So when you say marketing to them, they say, yeah, I need that. I don't like it, but I need someone to do those brochures and ads. Okay, that's a 1P marketer. Promotion. Promotion is, is what marketing's about. And it's characterized by having the people in your marketing department doing mostly what we call MarCom, which is shorthand for marketing communications. Not, they're not driving the growth of the firm. They're not coming up with creative new products. They are selling the products through a lot of MarCom. The second type of, uh, of CEO is what I call a 4P CEO, who understands that he wants brand plans, marketing plans that should cover the product, the price, the place, and promotion. So it's not just some people doing, he wants a plan. Okay, there's a third type of CEO, which is even more advanced, who says, you know, you don't, can't do a plan until you do STP, segmentation, targeting, and positioning. In other words, I can't make a, I'm not Coca-Cola making a, a plan to sell Coke to everyone in the world. I'm a company that makes something more specialized. There are, I have to figure out what is the market. In fact, what are the parts of the market? Which groups would respond best to what I can offer? Those will be my targets. And then what is my message for those buyers as to why they should buy from me rather than from a competitor? So that's called segmentation, targeting, positioning, and that precedes really building a marketing plan for some segment. Now the fourth type of uh, CEO, of which are very few, they're scarce, uh, but uh, is the ME type, and I, I'm using ME uh, for this expression, marketing is everything. A.G. Laffley, the CEO of P Procter & Gamble, says marketing is everything. Now, he does not mean that the marketing department is running the company. No way. It's a very well-balanced company for manufacturing and purchasing and marketing and finance and so on. What he means is that the customer is everything. We are a customer-driven company out to win by making the best quality, being the most innovative, and, and um, giving the most value for the money. So that is an ME type of uh, CEO in the understanding of marketing. And so for the CEOs that haven't come up through the marketing department and the marketing function, uh, what hope do they have and what should they do? Hire the best strategic-minded marketer you can as a CEO. Uh, hire Steve Jobs if you can, and he's not available. Uh, hire Richard Branson if you can, but he's not available. <laughs> but the point is that um, you'll get educated as the CEO by having a superb marketing force under you uh, and learning from that person. Also, please visit customers. Visit your big customers, especially if you're a B2B firm and you have some very big accounts that are crucial to your continuation as a company. Uh, do you know that Jack Welch, who we admire greatly as the past president of General Electric, when asked the question, how many customers do you, uh, how much time of your precious time do you spend with customers? He says 50% of the time. Now look, he's got a lot of other things to do. He's got to look at financial reports and do public relations with uh, the press and so on. No, 50%, spending time with the head of maybe Coca-Cola, the head of, uh, uh, of American Airlines, the head of, and so on and so forth. So a CEO will learn marketing that way too even if you never learned it in any other way. So again, it comes back to CEOs just spending more time with customers. If CEOs are only taken up with the financial side of the business, they're not going to see customers, they're going to see numbers. Yeah. They're not going to see changes in the marketplace and be ready to re-strategize.
bevo.com. <laughs>